Roller derby has changed a lot since the 70s. We gotta kick some butt is what we're gonna do. Then again, some things never change. You deal with things like broken bones and um, sprains and really painful situations that a lot of people can't handle. Whether it's Mary Lou Wretched, Shotgun Shell, or Sandra Deo Slaughter, for the Springfield Roller Girls, it's not just a sport, it's a lifestyle. It just was so cool. It was something that, you know, was spirited and, and kind of punk rock a little bit. We're going to kick butt, as everybody else says. And today, I'm lacing them up. Sign of my life away. Protective gear in place, let's get it on. <laughs> I've got the jammer roll, so I'll try to fight through the other team's blockers while my blockers clear a path for me. Out of it. <laughs> Easier said than done. My mic! So I made it through my first bout without a scratch. Like, whoa! Mike was awesome. It was a very valiant effort for his first time. I don't think he really wiped out. Then again. But I didn't really go down. very fast. I'm kind of like the tortoise, you know? Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Drenched in sweat, dog tired, and freshly christened with my roller derby nickname, Microphobia. There was only one thing left to do. Back to my day job and leave the art of roller derby to the Springfield Roller Girls. That was a good one.